Hi everyone and welcome to our online Church Museum art activity. As some of you know, we do a free drop-in art session on the first Saturday of every month and seeing as you can't come to us, we thought we would come to you. So this month's art activity is making a nice little Easter wreath and I will take you step by step through how you can make your own and possibly how you can adapt it to how you want to make it. So here we go. Okay, so what we need for our base is either a paper plate, a piece of quite thick card, or you can use the back of a cereal packet to make the base and to cut out your egg shapes too. The other thing you will need are some scissors, some felt tips or colouring pencils, a pencil and a rubber to puncture the holes for your loops, some string and some wool and of course some glue. So first things first, if you have a paper plate or a piece of card, what I would do is draw around to get your circle and then cut out your shape. Right, once you've cut out your circles, the card, the cardboard or your paper plate, you need to punch some holes in the top here so you can hang it with your string or your wool. Now I'm using a pencil because I don't have a puncher, so I pop it in there and make a hole. And another one here. And put my string through. to make your egg shapes like we have on this one here they're all the same size so what I did I roughly measured with my fingers the size I need which is from there to about there there to about there and I just made a little egg shape I'm sure yours will be a lot neater than mine I've got a wibbly wobbly table underneath. And then you cut out your stencil and you left something like that. And the next stage you need is to then use your stencil to cut out some coloured card if you have it, or the cardboard or the ordinary card is up to you because you'll be decorating them later. So I've got two pieces of card here and I'm going to fold them about here and draw around my stencil. stencil cutting out your egg shapes you should have quite a few like this and now I'm going to show you how to decorate 
um, your eggs with some ideas. So I've already cut out using my stencil some coloured tissue paper. That might be quite a good thing to use. I've got some sprinkles, pom poms, and some little felt flowers. So let's start decorating. eggs on you now have a finished Easter wreath and I think they will look pretty amazing however if you wanted to make your own design you can because I still think it looks great I made a dinosaur one for those who like dinosaurs out there and I know a lot of you do so it's the same principle the same method your cardboard, your card or your paper plate. You need to print out, or I printed out, a very scary looking dinosaur. I coloured him in and then I cut round him and I drew in the centre of my circle some like tree things like Jurassic ferns. I drew that, cut him out, stuck him on and I also printed out Stencils of dinosaurs, as you can see, look, here they are. And it was the same principle of your stencil and your eggs. And I covered, covered this one in tissue paper and I stuck them on. And you end up with this, with this one here. See, all they look like Jurassic eggs. So you can make any design you want, um, animals or teddy bears or rainbows or clouds, it's up to you. But I think they will look great hanging up in your windows in this time that we've got at the moment. Hi guys, well I hope you enjoyed that little art activity and we'd like to see lots of pictures of what you created if you want to upload them to our Facebook page we'd love to see them and hope you keep safe and thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time see you soon at Chertsey Museum bye